This will be a reading for the masculine Aries energy. What can we expect for the month of June? Let's tune in to the masculine Aries energy, please. I want to tune into the masculine Aries energy. What message do they need to know for the month of June? What's coming towards them? What can they expect? Okay. Whoa. Okay, four of cups on the bottom. That's um, either not wanting the cup were offered or offering someone a cup and they did not want it. It was offered. I see here. Oh, yeah, always. I see um, the devil. This could be a Capricorn energy. I see the Empress. Oh, my goodness. What's happening here? I see a seven. I see a queen of discs. I see a king of wands. I see a six of cups. Boys, I see an eight of coins. Okay, what the heck is going on? Masculine Aries. Oh my gosh, okay, so, well, I know this is about somebody either not wanting the cup they're offered or giving it back. I know it has to do with someone, <laughs> someone having a uh, feeling, uh, feeling in their uh, devil dick energy, someone indulging in, um, Acts of, um, <sighs> using the fiery sword here, putting their tongue where it don't belong, okay? Pooping in places they shouldn't be pooping. <sighs> See, I'm a fly in the wall. I'm right there, I'm watching them. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're not supposed to be there doing that. Anyway, this isn't funny because the Empress is here, so I'm gonna take this literal. Like, there's. There's a woman and child, okay? And if it's not a child, then it represents something that is normally protected, okay? Whatever that means for you energy watching. Um, staring at all those cups, not happy. Not happy with the cup that we've been given or offered, okay? Or being mad that it was you know, not received the way we desired it to be re received. And down here I have a queen of discs and a king of wands. But the six of cups, that's past life soulmate, that's... If, you're, if it's not past life soulmates, it's someone that you feel like you've known your whole life. Or you've come from the same neighborhood, or you know what I mean? And this is something that this is something we've worked at. So, at one time, these energies, I mean, I, I don't know how they became this. Okay? Um, let's clarify. Because, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, I'm seeing this as the masculine Aries energy in the story, and this is the, the feminine energy. So I'm gonna say, maybe this energy always seemed a little more closed off to you, Aries masculine. Um, maybe that's what led to the cup not feeling like it was being received and because, I mean, this is something we worked at and we saw at one time as a true connection. And there's a lot of cups here, so I know there's emotion. Lots of emotion. Um, I don't know if this energy has already embraced this devil energy or if they're on the um, decision, you know kind of crossroad, decision, sitting, blindfold, knowing what they should do, but kind of keeping themselves blind from that choice. Because under that's the two of cups. So I know this is about love and cups you share with an energy that... Uh, all right. 
I'm going to say, at one time, when you, you know, felt this, worked at it, viewed it as the Six of Cups connection, I feel like in this card, this person, this energy is coming off to you holier than thou, too full of themselves or whatever, like, because I don't think you're seeing them as an empress energy. I think you feel like they see themselves that way or almost like they're a martyr. Okay, that's what I just heard. So I don't know if that resonates. Uh, this is a general reading. Don't make it fit if it doesn't. And even if it does fit, if you entrust that deeply in the tarot, I suggest, you know, considering a personal reading from a tarot reader that you trust. But if you are resonating, that's what I'm seeing. I'm just telling you what the cards say and what I feel. Okay, so at one time, though, this queen was, um, well, she was a queen of discs. So she was definitely more grounded, and I think... You may have children with her. I'm seeing her here as a moth. I see these as little eggs. Uh, I, that's what I'm seeing right now, which to me is representing either her desire to create a family um, or that you did, uh, because I do see the work here and this connection um, would suggest that. Uh, I also see, though, a, a queen that maybe always came off a little closed off. Maybe being a king of wand energy, you always wanted a little more passion. Maybe you weren't getting it, you know, from this energy. Um, all right, let's clarify and then. Okay. So, Aries, masculine energy, this might be the situation that you're dealing with um, for the month of June with your partner. Um, so your reading might be, or your month might be kind of focused very much on cups. And making a choice that you're keeping yourself blindfolded to. So either you know that you should stay, you feel like you should stay, but you don't want to, or you know, you know you should stay, you know that you know, or that you, this energy always seemed closed off, and maybe, you know, but I don't, this is kind of a big deal, Betty, you know, to be there. Especially seeing the work, a lot of work put into that already. That means, like, this was already, this is work, like, already put in. This isn't Seven of Pentacles watching things grow. This is things already, you know, this was time. This was time. Um, okay. What advice can we give the Aries masculine energy about this for their month of June, um, reading? This Two of Swords, the Cup, uh... I mean, ultimately, we guide our destinies. You know, everyone's situation is different. It's up to you to personally decide what is worth fighting for or moving away from. So let's see what the cards, you know, if they have any advice, though, if you are resonating and you do want advice from the cards. Okay, cards, what do you say? What do we got for the Aries energy about this? situation here with the two of swords the six of cups of four of cups and eight of coins please. can we tell them anything you don't want to tell them anything <laughs> hey i gotta tell them something give me something for my arrows I mean, my arrows masculines i love them come on those are my those are my oh well i'm gonna take that all right and underneath i see strength okay you're gonna have to <laughs> this all right. Your advice is from the cards. <laughs> the tame, tame, tame yourself. You fiery, fiery Aries, you, you masculine grrr, energy. <sighs> you know, look. Um, this uh, strength character in this card here. He's got this, this, this like shackle. Okay. <sighs> Don't be shackled by, you know, maybe you're having trouble balancing, you know, the, the beastly, the, the, the fiery, fiery, devilly side. <clears throat> I mean, you did start off as a wand, you know, a fiery wand in this relationship. You're a fiery, listen, you're an Aries, what the hell? Give me a break. I mean, maybe this energy, I don't want to be a dick. Maybe this energy isn't for you, you know, they can't open up. And, you know, give their disc to the fiery, the fiery, uh, wand here. You know, that you're feeling like, oh man, don't listen to me. We're gonna, <laughs> don't listen to me. 
Because <laughs> the cards are saying, oh, I'm a douche, man. Don't upload this. I don't know if I can upload this. Um, the cards are saying, get seriously, the cards are saying, straight up, what I just said about that, right? Balancing that, like, literally. Like, you're a beast, and you gotta kind of, like, contain the beast within, all right? That's what it's saying. Because, listen, this isn't... Uh, this isn't great energy. You're not a Capricorn. This isn't for Capricorn. This is for my Aries, right? My, my Aries mask on. So this is saying, like, you are on the... <laughs> that thin line between, like, saying, man, my fiery wand, I'm tired of uh, having my back to this and, you know, <laughs> holding it up to this, uh, this, uh, you know, uh, take yourself down a notch, uh, martyr, oi, oi, I don't know why I'm feeling this, if you're resonating with that, then I'm definitely tapping into your energy, <laughs> alright, we don't want to get lost in this, though, forget, forget this, even if this didn't work out, you know what I'm saying, this isn't a great place for your energy to be, especially because you're fiery to begin with, alright, don't get lost in that energy, alright, as I ramble on, this is what the cards are saying, though, Wheel of Fortune, okay, this is what I've seen, so, this is what it says, the Wheel of Fortune, this wheel and this card is spinning. Look, Wheel of Fortune, life, right? There are things in life that are out of our control, okay? Nature, um, I could go on and on. You know what I'm saying? Other people's, uh, other people's actions. We can only control ourselves when it comes down to it, right? And that's what this is saying. That even though life feels crazy sometimes and there's things going on outside of our control we are on this wheel of life and there are times where oh my god look these characters they're like dead i mean you know life is killing these guys and who the hell won't we want them to be on this wheel you know what i'm saying it's not like the wheel on the other deck that's like gleaming the point is we can't control the wheel it might throw us off all we can do is control ourselves right gotta have strength all right and I really hope this was helpful for you, Aries Masculine. I hope if you made it to the end, you might be one of my peoples. Um, and maybe you want to subscribe to see stuff in the future. That'd be great. I love my Aries. I love my Masculine Aries. Um, and, geez, yeah, subscribe if you want to see stuff in the future. Like the video. That helps my channel grow. It's shit small right now. And uh, I love you for watching. If you stayed till the end, thanks for putting up with my really, uh, what I think is, my voice, I don't think people are digging it. But if you did dig it, then right on, man, right on. All right, love you guys. See you next time, hopefully.